So right now, let's take another call. The number here is 718-324-5465. Let's go to this line. Hello, Immigration Link. Brad and Squeeze. Hello. Hi, how are you, ma'am? I'm fine. I would just like to ask Brad a quick question. Yeah. Okay, um, Brad, um, my mm -hmm. permanent resident up in April. Um, when would be the best time to start put it in? Your permanent residence started in April? No, it, it finished in April, the conditional green card. Oh, the start. conditional card. 90 days before the conditional card expires, you put it in your I-751. So it's expired in April, so I should have put it in already then? Uh, what are we, in February? Yeah, do it now. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Okay. okay. All right, you're welcome. All right, th thank you so much. It's one thing I'm really trying to get used to, and it's the sirens here in New York City, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost tuning it out now. Almost. I'm, I'm close to tuning it out. You can completely. never tune it out. You can never tune it out. No. Mm. I just think That's why you like the peace and quiet of the suburbs. Yeah. Right? Yep. Tranquility. Tranquility. Yeah. Let's take another call, folks. 1-800-LAW-LINK. That's 1-800-529-5465. Why should you call that number? To set up an appointment to see Brad Bernstein. He has that many people coming in to see him, so that's the reason why he has to do appointments. Let's do another call right now. Hello, caller. How you doing? Hey, Squeeze. What's going on, big one? Everything good, man. Uh, with Brad. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No first pick, you know. Nice. All right. Chris down for Brad. Um, I applied for my son six. I filed in 600 for my son since last summer, about June, for his citizenship certificate. I haven't got this, no response from the INS. No, I need to. Um, let me ask you a question. You're, you're a citizen? Yeah, I'm a citizen. Okay, and how old's your son? Five years old, the 13th of January. And he has a green card and he lives with you? Yeah. Okay, and when you filed the N-600, did, how did you pay for that filing fee? Uh, with a U.S. postal money order. Okay, do you know if that postal money order was ever cashed? Well, I... I, I yeah, I got confirmation from them. I got a, a thing from them. They got it. Um, Oh, they got it. Okay. And it's now been a year and you haven't heard from them? It's not a full year, but it's it's going there. It's from like about June last um last year. Well what all right, now you you still have your original naturalization certificate, right? Yes, I do. Okay. And and so you didn't submit any originals, you only submitted copies, correct? Right, right, right. Okay. This is what I would do. Okay. Number one, go over to the US passport office. Fill out the U.S. passport application, send it in with the original documents, ask for the expedite, and the U.S. passport office will send back your son a U.S. passport within three or four weeks. Okay. okay? And that way he has proof that he's a U.S. citizen. The okay. next thing I would do, the next thing I would do is um, go to USCIS.gov, make an info pass appointment, go down to immigration and see what the problem is. Speak to an officer. Okay, I'm... Um if his mom still lives in Jamaica applying for the passport, how I do that? You get the mother to, the, both the mother and the father have to sign the uh, passport application. Right. So then you, what you can do is if you want, you can go to the post office, get the passport application, bring it home, send it to the mother to sign, saying that she consents to the son getting a U.S. passport. She sends it back to you. I think she has to get it notarized, and if you, she needs a notary, she does it at the U.S. Embassy in Kingston. And um, and uh, then you walk back into the post post office and, and give it to them, and they take the fee and they, they mail it off to the uh, passport agency. Okay, thank you very much, Brian. Okay. Doing a great job. All right, appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Right. Great. No well, respect for the work yeah, for the community. All right, so thanks. Yeah. All right. It's, it's good sometimes when you get a nice comment. That's it just, right. It just changes your entire day. That's right. So if you had a shishi day that was coming along, right, and a nice comment can just Give you that surge that you need to you get know? you through the rest of the day. Yeah, and that, that right. comment, right. that nice comment. So now is, that nice comment, you don't have to go to Starbucks now. No, I don't have to go to Starbucks anymore. Right. I, I mean, you I, need a comment. It save you five bucks on something, coffee. Something nice. Right. Something nice will save you five dollars on yeah. coffee every day. So you know. Right. I can get some Valentine gifts, for my girl. You know, mm -hmm. five bucks. You know, and also, by the way, it, it's it's in life, mm -hmm. it's as easy to say something nice as it is to say something mean. Mean. Yeah. And. If you say something nice, it gets you a lot further in life. In life, that is true. People want to help you more. Yes, that is true. When you are nice, than when you are not right. nice. Right. When you when you you know portray that energy of niceness, people want to help you more. People want to help you more. That's true. It's very very important. That's true. Hmm.